So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Last year, like, end of last year, I don't, I don't know if it was into 2021, but, like, end of last year, navigating the winter from, like, Halloween last year up until, like, December something, I think, because the month challenge that I did last year was from, let's say, roughly November 16 to December 16, um, and then before that, like, there was that, so, like, but after Halloween, even though I didn't start my, like, month challenge till, like, November 16 or so, I was still, like, out here. It's just that I was, like, it wasn't, like, a mission or it wasn't, like, a, I didn't start that month challenge yet. So, like, now I'm, and I think it's because, like, because of the realization that, like, this person likes unicorns, but, like, I was a unicorn for like <laughs> two months or something. Like, like I didn't like I don't know like, cause I had like I called myself like Rhino Candy Corn at one point. I called myself like Ninjunicorn, like Ninja and Unicorn. And then even last year in general, like the theme during this, during a. Uh, last year's journey was, like, ninja, and I've, like, lost that, like, um, like, kind of energy, or, like, I've kind of lost the zeal for that, if you could call that zeal, or the feel for that, the feel for that, um, like, the ninja, like, trying to be ninja, and also, I wasn't even that ninja, I mean, I had ninja moments, but, like, the cops talked to me, like, multiple times, like, so, I mean, how ninja was I? But I had my ninja moments, um, perhaps. But, like, I was a unicorn for, like, a month or two. Actually, kind of, like, November for a month and a half. And then, I don't know if I did it more than that, but I was a unicorn for, like, a month and a half. A unicorn. Like, not, like, I'll probably just wear it at, like, nighttime-ish, I'm guessing. But, like, I didn't even, like, now, because, like, someone who is, like, spe- like I, that I admire or, an, or am intimidated by or whatever, like, likes unicorn, so that's why I can, like, think something of it like what other what other magicalness do I have in my history or in my present that I just don't see as something cause like cause not cause like I was a unit like a month and a half of being like yeah it was cold so like when you're like if you're like in a challenge or if you're like struggling like you, like, maybe lose the fun or the beauty that can be inside it or along with it, but, like, like, what what else is in my past that's magical or beautiful that I am sleeping on? I mean, I don't like you, I don't care that, unicorns aren't anything to me, and it's not even just, it's not even just that girl, like, I remember last year that, like, when I went with uh, a friend at the time who maybe hopefully things will be rekindled with, maybe someday. I mean, we're still kind of okay when we do run into each other. I don't know. But when we, like, went into a restaurant, like, there's, there's, like, maybe a woman that said something. I don't know. I don't remember what she said. But he had, like, when we walked out, he was like, does everyone say that or does everyone something? Um, I don't know what she said. I don't know if it, maybe she said it, like, made, made her smile or something. I don't know. And then, like, this year, like, 
Uh, maybe, maybe the day before Halloween would be kind of my guess. I walked out of the library and I don't know if I complimented something on a woman or like, or maybe just said, have a good day or something. And then she was like, oh, my daughter would just go crazy over that or something. So like, so like, and I feel like this year in the little time that I've worn it, like this in this uh Halloween period or whatever like the last week or within the last like week or so uh I've I feel like I've seen like just positive like little things from people like you don't wear this and this at least this year it's like I get like I feel like I get weird looks and stuff but so that was kind of a, I mean, I guess that's kind of a nice change. What other magic exists in my past? What other magic exists in your past that you need someone to awaken? That was a unicorn. And then you would think it works conversely too. Like what nightmares or what horror exists in my past that I don't even realize. I want to find some sort of, like, equilibrium with this girl, though, because, like, I want to be able to feel comfortable, like, watching her stuff and, like, which I, I mean, which I could, like, actually, actually I could, because, like, from what I did get from her, the one she did message, like, she, she's at least, like, okay with me, so, like, I, I, I could. Time for this unicorn to... Oh, also... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Before... I also made out with someone because, because like... And because they liked the unicorn thing. I was at... I went on... I had a good Halloween. Um, there were multiple good points of my Halloween. But um, I went to Bucks. I went to the OB Saturday night. And then I went to Bucks. Um, and, like, I was trying... Like... It was the end of Bucks, it was the end of the night, and then, like, there were two girls and a guy that I am, like, that I know, um, and, like, anyway, fast forward in this, like, in this conversation, like, I was, I didn't even, I didn't even, like, hang out with them that night, like, I was, so I, so I don't know if he, like, started talking to me, or, like, or what, but, or maybe she said something about the unicorn costume, I don't know, but, I end up getting involved in this conversation, maybe because he pulled me in, maybe because said girl pulled me in, something, and I'm sticking around, and I mean, it's, I, I would imagine I might have been, like, wanting to leave, or like, why am I staying, or should I stay, or in my mind, just not, like, fully wanting to be there, at least, at least in my mind, I feel like probably questioning being there, or not fully wanting to be there, whatever, but... So then we had, we had to move from the Bucks area because they the people that work there can't, like, go in and clean, I think, or something until people move off the, the like, that front area. 
um, like by the bench and stuff. So, so we moved from that front area from by the bench or whatever and went like a little bit elsewhere and we're talking and stuff. And then like the guy wanted to see if I had like, uh, if I could do like a Yoruba or Nigerian accent or something like that. And, but at one point she like, anyway, she like, she did, she did something to the guy that was like, and I was like, that's probably like a turn on or something. Like, I feel like I'm not having like a turn on, but I feel like that's like a thing that could turn someone on like kind of thing. I said something like that. And then, and then I don't know if she said like, if you put your unicorn hood on, I'll do it to you or something. And then I was like, and then I was like, And then it was that thing, like, it reminded me of, like, and I and I said this, I think I said this to her, too, because it reminded me of, like, when I was little, like, with this girl named Rachel Adams, where she, like, like, she chased me to kiss me, and, like, I'm running away, but, like, I, in this childhood scenario, this child scenario with Rachel Adams, like, I, like, was running away from the kiss, but at the same time, like, I kind of wanted the kiss, so, like, that's what this kind of reminded me of. And, like, I, I said something like this to the woman or to the girl. Um, and, like, so, but I don't know if we ended up talking about something else or something. So, like, she didn't end up doing, like, just, and it wasn't anything crazy. It's just, like, the kind of, like, authority or or, like, touch or something that I feel like would be like a turn on kind of thing. Um, but was, but I don't think it was for me at that point, but like, so, so she, I don't know if, we, if the conversation went elsewhere or something, but, um, but I brought it back up and was bringing it back up. And then she like, didn't, she didn't really do She didn't really do like all that she did to him. And it wasn't even like a lot. It was just like some t- type of like, like, head touch or something, like, and maybe something that she said, like, it wasn't even, like, something crazy or something, but anyway, but then the dude was, like, like I said about the accent thing, like, he was trying to see if I could, like, do a Nigerian accent, and I couldn't, I I don't, I couldn't form enough Yoruba uh, to be able, like, full sentences or something to be able to give, like, a good example, so I just had to, like, say a little bit of like the beginnings of a sentence or something and try to do that. Um, so I think I, I think I tried that, had tried that once at some point in this scenario and it didn't work. And then, um, there's a point where somehow she said like something about giving me a kiss and I wanted to finish this Yoruba situation. So like I was trying to do that and I tried to say like a little something in Yoruba Um, and I think another, there was another dude there that was like, I think he might've been implying that like, did she just say she was going to give you a kiss and you're like the implication of what I think he was kind of trying to say that not that he actually said this, but the implication of what this other person was, this other guy was saying was kind of seemed like he was like, like, why are you, kind of like, why are you focusing on this Yoruba thing when, or what, like, when there's someone who wants to kiss you or something like, I don't know. That's not word for word, but that's just kind of like the subtext, kind of like the feel, I think I was getting off of what he was saying. Um, but with the black guy, the person that I was trying to, that I know and that I was trying to, like, because he wanted to see if I had an accent or if I could do a Yoruba accent, so... I tried again and I don't, I can't remember if I succeeded or not, but then, so like, and then I still wanted the kiss and then we kissed, but she wasn't talking about like just a normal like kiss. She like, that was like tongue in there and like that was, and I wasn't good at that at first. I didn't, it took some, some warming up or some like learning, (laughs) but so th- this was a woman that was not, and I say woman, but she was like, she doesn't, I don't think she's that old. Um, so maybe I should just say girl, but like, or somewhere between girl and woman. 
But, like, I wasn't really attracted to her. Like, she wasn't someone that I saw and would see as, like, ooh, like... But when she kissed me, though, or when all that was happening, like, yeah. <laughs> so, and so we, like, yeah, so we, like, kept kissing and stuff, and, like, and then, <laughs> and then she, like, left eventually, and then my blanket that I have, because I used to store, like, I kind of store blankets. Now, these days, I don't have as many blankets. In fact, I don't, like, I've lost, I've lost good blankets out here. So I don't have, like, blankets like I used to. But I had a blanket that, that was, like, close to here. Um, the one that I'm going to use right now, actually. Um, but, like, so when I was walking to it, it was, like, going the same way that she was going. And, like, even if that wouldn't have happened, like, I wanted to, like, go after her and be like, are you sure? Because I think I had, I don't know, at that point, I don't know if I'd, like, asked if she wanted me to, like, come with her or, like, something. Not for, like, like, I'm a virgin and I intend on keeping that. But, like, maybe to, like, kiss or cuddle or something like that. Um... So I'm kind of starting to wonder, like, I feel like I want to be able to give sex to someone as, like, that special person. Like, that's something that I want to give to, like, that special person. Because I've kind of, and I've kind of got, like, growing up, that's always kind of been the thing. Um, but then, like, there's been some experiences this year, one in particular, where, like, I kind of, like, was like, yeah, I think. Because I've experienced, like sexual activation this year as far as like like I don't want to know if I want to say like sexual tiger awaken but like and so like I like one that's a that's a powerful force um but also like I feel like that's something that I want to give to and I don't I mean but then I've all I, I it seems like this year or lately I'm very like because I'm like saying I'm like saying like to a lot of people like you're cute or da, da, da. like and I normally tell people they're cute but it's like I'm like really I don't know if being 30 like my jeans like my jeans are just like yo we need to do something or what but like like there's a girl that I even talked to was talk like talking to today and like gave like and and like and she's like 20 so there's like a 10 year difference but like she was cool and like and so we might go watch a movie unless she, like, falls off the face of the earth like girls do. But she might actually not. Um, she actually seems cool. Um, but then I have, like, my, my like, pot like, potentials in different areas and stuff with, like, this girl. Even though, like, she's not interested. But, like, I'm... And, and she also has, like, a love that she might want to one day return to even though she's not currently with said person. So, like, that. And she has kids. And... But she's just, like, she's really, like, inspiring and, like, really, like, anyway. Um, and then there's this other person, Wolf, Steph Wolf, and that, I, that I'm that i also kind of, I don't know. There's just a lot of, my heart's, like, in different directions and stuff. And then there's 